Hi, I'm Jay Woods, uh, Option 5. We're here at NAM, and uh, we've got a lot of new products to show off today. Um, all my pedal line has been revamped. We've got different colored boxes. We've got laser engraving. Uh, make that uh, just look really nice. And of course, the sound has not changed, so we've got great tones coming out of these hand-built boxes that are made right in Mishawaka, Indiana, United States of America. The very first box here is our Overdrive 2. It's the final incarnation of this overdrive that uh, I was inspired to design back when I was a teenager. Um, it just get so many tones. It, it's uh, most boxes you're going to get will have a partially usable drive range. Uh, this one here from the very far counterclockwise to full counter or full clockwise. It's going to be just absolutely full frequency, awesome, uh, overdriven tones that are very smooth. No bumblebee in a tin can here. Um, and it's got the three band EQ, so it's very amp like, and you can adjust it to uh, operate well with other pedals, with other um, amplifiers. So when you go from gig to gig and you got to use a different back line, this thing will help you dial in that sweet tone you're always used to having. Um, next over here, we've got the Destination Rotation Single, which is our rotating speaker simulator. It uh, does a very good uh, emulation of like a Leslie 16 120 or Vibratone cabinet. Now you've got your ramp up and down speed here. You can set a slow speed and you click it and you go up to the high speed. Uh, just like the real deal, it actually ramps up and then it ramps back down when you hit the button to go back down the low speed. Now you can bypass it here. Uh, so you get your regular clean tone. It is true bypass. And then your drive. Um, a lot of Leslie tones are totally awesome when they're driven. Uh, it's very clear and prominent uh, when you've got that drive going on. Of course, you can also use another drive in front of it if you want. It makes it sound great. We've got uh, slow trim and fast trim so that like when you start at a slow speed, uh, you can set which slow speed you like and then you ramp up to the fast speed you set. And uh, this pedal is used and endorsed by Joe Walsh and has been since 2007. So like the king of the Leslie for guitar. Uh, next over here we have the stereo phase, uh, which is the same as our original destination phase. It's just I named it stereo phase because it is a stereo phase. Uh, it's got like the slowest sweep possible on the speed and then goes up to some pretty wild warbles on the top uh, top end of the speed there. Now the depth control is different than a lot of depth controls you'll see on a phaser whereas if you got it fully clockwise um, it's going to be full on thick syrupy vocal um, chewy sounding phasing but when you back this off it doesn't change the sound of that phasing it just is mixing it in or out so here you'll have no phase at all but when you start to mix it in it just starts to blend it in gently until you've got the full on. Uh, same with the regen control. Um, here it sounds great. When you turn it all the way up, you get kind of a whistling, howling thing that's a lot like that color switch on the small stone that we're all so used to. So just a lot less noise. Very studio quality, low noise phaser. And it uses uh, LDRs, which is code word for optical. So we got an optical phaser here. Over here we've got our Destination Bump, which is a clean buffer boost pedal for guitar. Uh, it goes from zero decibels, which is of course unity gain, all the way up to 15 for you. Um, and you can set it anywhere in here with this knob. And the neat thing about this knob is it's easily adjustable, but it's set it and forget it. So like if you're at a gig, you're not reaching across the knob and accidentally bumping it with your foot. Um, I've had that happen several times, which is why we have the pedal designed this way, so that you don't have the sound men scrambling when you've got it boosted too high, or you don't go, where'd my guitar go when you kick it on and it's supposed to be boosted. Uh, very low noise floor, uh, uses an amazing op amp in there for that, um, for that boost and for that buffer, that it's just ultra low noise, non-inverting design, and uh, just doesn't mess with your tone. It's just meant to bring whatever coolness you got going on up in the mix. It doesn't modify or color your tone at all. And uh, it's Big Brothers over here, this is the Destination Thump. It's identical to the bump, except for it allows more low frequencies through. Even though it's still not shaping your tone, it's still flat, it allows for that drop-tuned five-string bass if you're using that kind of a thing. Otherwise, it's the same as the bump. And over here is a square tone. Uh, now, most people know that Option 5 does not clone pedals. The closest thing that this is uh, gonna sound like is gonna be like a fuzz face. Uh, but it's got some proprietary stuff in there that I've designed that allows me to use silicon transistors, but to get that germanium tone, but to keep it consistent. So like if you go from that rainy, wet stage and it sounds great and then you go to your dry, warm studio, it still sounds the same as long as those knobs 
are set in the same position. Uh, and we also have the SAG feature, which allows you to dial that down to like three volts, so your nine volt is like dead, so it's spitting and sputtering, and you get that just broken rubber band sound. But you can also dial it up to the regular nine volts and get a real smooth violin tone. Thank you. 